what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video this is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos i'm just going to be telling you guys how i got um this blonde hair um those of you who have been following me for a while knows that i was very 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 dark before um so really quick a disclaimer um i am not a cosmetologist so you know whatever you decide to do on your own hair you're doing at your own risk i'm not responsible if you know if you follow my advice and it fries your hair because i'm not a professional by any means but anyway so um you know i've the for the past i don't know about year or so um i've been um dyeing my hair a bunch of different colors um starting with like probably like june or july of last year i was like dark brown um i dyed my hair red and this is all like box dyes which is i know it's horrible for your hair like i'm very very aware i've been dyeing my hair for a long time but i was just being lazy um i dyed my hair bright red i bleached um like strands of my hair as you can see there's a little bit um ashier because they were already like previously bleached you know before and you know, just kind of kept that look i um eventually went to like blue black and that was the last color i had um but before this and literally like a week after i dyed my hair blue black i was like hey I, I have some bleach let's go blonde i had like one of those little packets of bleach you can get at sally's so you know i decided to bleach my hair so first bleaching i used one of those packets of sally's and a 20 volume developer um i didn't i've used 40 and 30 in the past before and that has really fried my hair really really bad like um probably my biggest mistake before was bleaching like too close together so this time i really wanted to like take my time and make sure i wasn't going to fry my hair off so basically i used the 20 in the packet and um as you guys saw from other videos what my hair looked like it was really orangey and i didn't want to tone it because usually when i tone my hair it just fries it even more especially those wella toners like i know those are like you know hairdressers like recommendation for people who want to do their hair at home but i feel like in a way sometimes those toners fry my hair more than the actual bleach does so i kind of wanted to stay away from that so if you're the kind of person that you know doesn't mind putting their hair up in a bun or a braid every day you know for a little bit um just so your hair doesn't like completely fry off i just left the color that it was when i bleached it so it was like that weird orange color so about two weeks later um i went to sally's and i needed to get more bleach because i you know before i only had that one packet because i was doing this on a whim um i felt like my hair was strong enough to take another bleaching so i went to sally's and i bought the wella color charm lightener um and it was like they had like a deal going on so if you like bought this you got the 20 volume or whatever volume i guess the, but the big bottle of developer for free so i was like okay i'm gonna get these two and use that um usually i would use the quick blue l'oreal so i've never used the wella before so i wasn't really sure how that was going to work out so um i did another bleaching with that and it still lifted my hair pretty i was still very very orange um very 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 brassy I, and i left that for I don't know another week or so and um, I realized that like the lift that I had for my second bleaching was not anywhere near what I wanted it to be and I left it I left both bleachings on my hair for an hour each and it didn't barely lift it at all so I decided to like do some more research um, I went on um, online and just researched figure out what the best kind of bleach was um, and most of the bleach that we can get like people who aren't licensed is going to be like not the best quality um and it's not going to lift the way you want unless you use a 40 volume developer and fry off your hair you know i've been there i didn't want to do that again so you know i started looking into like professional products seeing if there's a way like any possible way that um i'd be able to obtain any of these and i learned about the schwarzkopf um, nine level lift bleach and you have to be a licensed cosmetologist to like order or whatever but i found a way around it and it is on amazon so i did pick this up um it's bond enforcing um premium lightener nine plus uh level bleach and it comes with its own like cream developer um these two together like seriously these smell good like usually bleach smells like ass but this smells really good and i don't know it's probably like messed up but um so i did that i put those together and it was like usually bleach is like a very thick like 
formula and it's really hard to get it all even in your hair. This was very, very creamy. It was like a gel-like kind of thing. So it was really easy for me to spread through my hair. Um, you know, I put, left it on for an hour and then when I washed it out, it was very, very bright. It was still um, very brassy, very yellow and orange. I'll post some pictures in here of that. I don't think I filmed when it was that brassy. Um, so it was very, very, very bright. Um, and I definitely got up to about a level nine, which is where I wanted to be. I didn't want to get to like the white stage because then you can really, really, really damage your hair. So, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to deal with, I'm, I'm fine with this. And I wasn't, the, my biggest, my next um, decision was to find a toner. I was going to try the Wella Demi Permanent Toners because I've used those before to tone down when I had these parts um, bleached just to like give it more of an ashy shade, but those hardly ever last. And you really have to get the color right because if I were to get like a nine and say I wasn't completely a nine yet, it really wouldn't have done anything. So I decided to do some more research on the professional products and um, a lot of YouTubers who are licensed cosmetologists like swear by this product and now I swear by this product. Um, it is the Shades EQ line. Um, they have so many different colors. Like you can get it to like tone dark hair, like browns, reds, and blondes. Um, the colors that I got, I'll probably, like, when I order again, I'll probably gonna get um, either the 9T or the 9B just to get some more blue base to kind of tone out. Because if you can see, I still have a little bit of brass, but definitely like nothing that you know I can't handle. But the color that I got is 07V, and I used this on my roots to kind of give me like a dark root look so I looked a little bit more natural. And for the ends, I got the 09V, which is the Platinum Ice. Um, so this one is was just to tone down all of my ends to kind of, and it really does help with blending together. So basically, it's for these, it's one part of the toner and then one part of the processing solution. So I did that, and this is really like, I don't know if you can hear that, it's like super liquidy. So it was really, really easy to apply. And the cool thing too is that like once I put the color on my roots, you know, like lifted my hair, put it all on my roots, and then when I grabbed the 9V to put on my ends, you can really easily blend it so you don't have any lined roots. So it kind of like gradually looks more natural and less like just like a lined roots or whatever. So yeah, that's what I did. And I think it worked out really, really well. Um, I still have some brass in my hair, but it's nothing that I, like I can't live with. Um, I'll probably buy um, this in like an, a, a 9B or maybe even an 8B to maybe try and tone it a little bit more. But this is definitely livable. And I went from black to like probably a level eight or nine blonde. So I'm very, very happy with that. So really quick before um, I end this video, let's just talk about the damage. Um, whenever you process your hair at all, like I bleached three times, um, you're gonna have damage. Uh, I, I cut a lot of it off, but you know, the good thing about doing this like on your own too, which is probably like every cosmetologist is like, no, but you can like control like how much you wanna cut your ends off because with the amount of damage I had, they'd probably wanna cut like a couple inches off my hair, you know, just so it looked like really healthy or whatever. But I just cut like the very, very, very damaged ends and I'm gonna try and let it grow so I can cut more off later. So I can still keep my length, but also cut off the damaged bits as well. Um, the most damage is probably in my bangs. You can kind of see it's a little bit um, fried on my ends, but I have really thick, naturally curly hair. So my hair kind of looks like that anyway. <laughs> you know, it's always been kind of thick and like, especially when I straighten it, it's always just been difficult to like manage and it never really looks like smooth and shiny or anything like that. That's just not my hair type. So definitely keep that in mind as well. If you have really thin, fine hair, I would not recommend to um, do this because you probably end up frying your hair off but I know what my hair can handle I've been doing my own hair for a long time um but yeah so that is basically um what I did and um another another thing I wanted to cut like touch on like I'm not the like, professional hair cutting either but what I did to cut my ends um was I put my hair in like a high ponytail and flipped it over and kind of cut that way because that'll still give you some more layers in your hair if that's what you want obviously that's what I want I like having different length lengths of um the roots and then from like my bangs I just cut cut off the ends to kind of just make it look a little bit less more fresh um so what I've been doing as deep, for deep conditioning goes, because you have to deep condition if you bleach, I've been using the Schwarzkopf Repair Rescue um, 
damaging hair mask treatment and I've been using this every night sometimes I'll even sleep in it just to try and get my hair healthy again um I'll probably uh because I'm going to be going out of town in like a week or so so I'll probably try and tone again um one more time before I go out of town so um if you guys want me to update you guys on how the other tones look in my hair because I'm going to try a couple of the of these these are really cool there's so many different kinds like i'm really excited to experiment and like like i said with these two like the cool thing is like when i do want to go dark again i could just buy one of these put it on my hair and it'll like wash out and like i think they said like 20 washes or whatever so i won't have to like actually go into my hair and penetrate and change the color it'll just like coat it so that's really cool to have so and that's also for like blondes who are thinking about going darker like i would even if you don't get like you know the salon brand shades to get a dummy permanent shade and put on top because once you are dark from a permanent color and you want to like get back to your blonde it's going to be a task and a half so so basically it took me about a month and a half to obtain this color um i would not recommend people to just do it all um in like one day because you will probably fry off your head um so yeah i just wanted to share with you guys what how i got this color um if you guys want me to make an update video when i tone again let me know down in the comments and i will totally do that um Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.